please start in the seated position. Laying the shins in front of you. Let your hands rest on your thighs, palms turned face up. Reach tall through your spine, lifting through the crown. And with a gentle tuck of the chin, start to deepen your breath. Feel the breath reaching down low into the bowl of the belly and the ribs expanding out wide to the side. Welcoming yourself here on the mat for this beautiful day. Now grab your knees with your hands and start to roll your ribs over to the right and down through the middle the left and to the back as you round the belly in, rolling to the right, down to the middle and over to the left. And just start to make circles with your spine, loosening up the, the back into the hips. And find a way to pair your breath with the movement to what works for you, connecting with your own rhythm and pace. And then reverse the direction of your, your circle. Rolling around, finding movement and freedom in the spine and the hips. Connecting with the breath as you pair your movement, the inhales and exhales. Come back to center. Keep your hands on your knees. So think cat-cow. On the inhale, draw your shoulders down away from your ears. Lift your heart, lift your chin. And as you exhale, round the spine, coil your navel in, your tail, your chin. Inhale, reach up tall through the heart, lifting it up. Relax your shoulders down. And exhale, reach to the back of the heart as you round the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Come back to neutral and reverse or switch the uh, cross of your legs. Good. Bring your hands to your knees and start to roll your ribs over to the left and down through center and over to the right and back as you round the spine. Reaching to the left, stretch your heart forward, and roll to your right. So starting to make circles in this direction, pairing the movement with your breath. Finding these tight areas of the body and sending the breath into the space. And then switch the direction of your, your spinal circle. Make your way back to a neutral position. Keep your hands on the knees. Inhale, reach the heart forward. Drop the shoulders, lift your chin, open the throat. And exhale, press the ribs back, heart back, belly back, and round it in. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. See if you can lift up higher. Exhale, bring it in, rounding it all. Inhale. Exhale. Come back to a neutral spine. And come up onto your hands and knees in tabletop pose. Keeping the hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, and have the toes tucked. From here, just press into the hands and hover the knees off of the mat just an inch or two. Gaze is in neutral, chest above and between the hands. Low belly is active. Breathing deeply. 
Keep pressing the hands down to the core of the earth as you lift the hips up to the sky for downward facing dog. Let the chin just drop naturally down. Don't try to keep your head up. Don't look around. Just let your gaze rest back behind you. Breathing into the back body. Feel the triceps hug into the upper arm bones as you reach through the arms, keeping the elbows straight. Feel the palms press down as your fingertips all root into the mat. And now relax your shoulders away from the ears. Lift the sides of the waist up to the sky and soften your heels down. Press your thighs to the back of the room and then feel as if you're trying to pull your thighs apart from one another. Breathe into this beautiful downward facing dog. Walk your feet the width of the mat. Now walk your hands back so the heels press down so you're in a really short dog. Right hand now grabs the outer left knee, calf, ankle, or heel. Root into your left hand and take an inhale. Exhale, bend your right elbow and twist your gaze under the left arm. Hugging the left hip into the center line of the body and breathe into that outer left hip. Letting the breath carry away all tightness and tension. Bring your right hand back to the mat. Left hand grabs the outer right knee, calf, ankle, heel. Ground into your right hand. Take a deep inhale. And exhale. Bend the left elbow and twist your gaze under the right arm, looking up. Right hip hugs in slightly. Opening the outer right hip. Massaging this area with your breath and your energy. Keep your attention on your breath and your mat. Breathing deeply. Release the left hand down. Now keep your feet the width of the mat and turn your toes out and walk your hands in as you sit your hips low into malasana. Low squat. Triceps connect at the inner knees. And now press the knees open and lift your heart up into the thumbs. Hands are together in prayer. Feel the weight of the body is sitting in the heels. If you find yourself gripping the mat with your toes, see if you can open your feet a little bit wider and just sit back. If you lean back too far and you fall, it's all good. You're on the mat. Breathe here. Feel the crown of the head floating up into the sky as the tail stretches down towards the earth. Breathing into a long, tall, open torso. Bring your hands down to the mat and roll your hips to the sky, straighten your legs and heel toe the feet hips with distance apart. Grab your big toes with the peace fingers and inhale, lengthen the spine to a halfway lift, stretch your spine long and exhale, bend your elbows out wide to a nice deep fold, Padagustasana. Let your chin drop down to your chest and knees can be bent or straight but feel the back of the thighs rolling up and out, breathing into the back legs. Release the toes, bend the knees, and on an inhale, reach out and rise all the way up to stand. Reach up, gaze up, and exhale, hands pull to the heart. Inhale, reach out, reach up. Tuck your tail down to your heels and start to lift your heart up higher. Exhale, bowing to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. 
and exhale, fold deeply, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise up, resting down through the feet to rise up tall, tuck your tail, lift your heart, and exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale. Exhale, let it all go as you fold to the mat. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, reach out, rise to stand, tail to the heels, and lift your heart, back bend emerges, and exhale, hands to prayer. Inhale, reach out, ground your feet, lift your heart, exhale, folding to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, stretch the spine long, exhale, fold deeply. Walk your hands forward into downward facing dog. Inhale, shift forward to plank. Bringing the shoulders just a little bit past the wrist. Low belly hugs in. Breathing here. Finding your strength, your stability. Feeling your, your energy extends from the core all the way through the crown of the head to the top of the mat and reaching back through the heels. Take another breath here. And exhale, bend your elbows all the way, lowering down to your belly. Untuck your back toes. Release your shoulders down and away from the ears. And inhale, lift the heart, cobra pose, bhujangasana, elbows bent and close to the body. Slowly lower your heart to the mat and shift back through bent knees to downward facing dog. Inhale, shift forward to plank all the way forward to your on the tippy toes and exhale, chaturanga. Bend your elbows 90 degrees, hugging the body with the elbows. Inhale, straighten the arms, lift your heart, upward facing dog. Lifting the thighs off of the mat. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more. Inhale, shift forward into plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take an inhale, lift the right leg up to the sky. Exhale, bring the right foot in between the hands. Lower your left knee. Untuck your back toes and keep the hips low. Inhale, reach up. Anjaneyasana. Breathing into the front left hip flexor. Keep lifting the ribs away from the hips, expanding the heart space. Inhale. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step the right foot to plank. Inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts to the skies. Exhale, left foot in between the hands. Lower the right knee. Untuck the toes, hips are low. Inhale, reach the fingertips up. And exhale, let the shoulders relax. Hips are soft. Breath is full and victorious. Floating the ribs up away from the hips to open the heart. Keeping the arms and fingers energized. One more inhale. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step the left foot to plank. Inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, lifts the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, rise up to the tiptoes. And exhale, step or hop to your hands. Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold deeply. Inhale, reach out, rise to stand. Tuck the tail, lift your heart. Exhale, hands to prayer. 
Bring your big toes together, keep the heels separate. Sit your hips low as you squeeze the legs. Inhale, sweeps the fingertips up. And exhale, sit low, reach back, airplane arms. Inhale, keep the hips low, chest lift the fingers. Exhale, sit a little bit deeper and reach back. Staying low, bring both hands together at the heart. Inhale, get length in the spine. And exhale, twist the left elbow outside the right thigh. Drawing the thumbs to the sternum. Feel the weight is in the heels. As you inhale, find length and space and exhale to deepen the twist. Good, one more inhale and exhale, straighten the legs and fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step to plank, lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg to the skies. Exhale, right foot by the right thumb. Spin your left heel down, lunge into your right knee, and inhale, rise up, warrior one. Right, as you exhale, ground down through your back leg and foot. Shoulders are soft and the arms are energized. Clasp your hands at your tail and inhale, lunge into the knee, reach through your knuckles, lift the heart. Exhale, right shoulder on the inside of the right thigh, humbly bowing warrior. Let your chin drop down to your chest and rest your drishti on the arch of the back foot. Breathing deeply. Release the hands. Inhale all the way up, warrior one. Find your strong legs and exhale. Turn to your left and lunge, warrior two. Breathing here. Feeling the right thigh wants to be parallel to the mat as it opens the knee out towards the pinky toe. Reaching long through the left leg and rooting through the back foot. Belly hugs in as you soften the shoulders and reach through your fingertips. Drishti is over the front middle hand. Breathing here. Feeling a peaceful, sacred warrior inside of you. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Open the right side body and exhale, straighten the right leg. Hold the right hip back as you reach the right fingertips forward. You can rest the hands on the outside of the leg on the block or down to the mat. So the right hand is directly under the right shoulder and the left hand reaches up to the sky. Connect both big toes into the mat and activate your quads, pulling energy up from the earth. Let your tailbone reach to the back heel and lean back, opening the left shoulder and the left collarbone. Breathing here in this beautiful tree karnasana. <sighs> Inhale, bend your right knee, come up to warrior two. And exhale, windmill down to the mat. Step the right foot to plank and lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, rise up to your toes and exhale, float to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold deeply, set your hips low. Thighs squeeze to create one strong leg and inhale, sweep the fingertips up, Utkatasana. Good, breathing here. Inhale. And exhale, sit low, bring hands together at the heart. Squeeze your legs together. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And exhale, twist the right elbow outside the left leg. Sitting into the heel, set your hips back and reach the crown of the head forward. 
turning the sternum towards the thumbs, creating space on the inhale and finding a deeper detox with the exhale. One more inhale and exhale, straighten the legs and fold Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step to plank or lower to um, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts to the skies. Exhale, left foot by the left thumb. Swing your right heel down. Find your feet and ground them. Legs are strong. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, ground down, but stay lifted. Think Satira Sukha. Breathing into your strong warrior one. Awesome. Clasp the hands at the tail behind you, bringing the opposite thumb on top. As you inhale, reach the knuckles, lunge into your knee, open your heart, and exhale the left shoulder on the inside of the left thigh, humbly bowing warrior. Drishti is at the arch of the back foot. Keep letting the hands drop overhead to squeeze and massage the back of the heart. Release your hands with control. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. And exhale to your right, warrior two. Open your arms and lunge. Pausing here. Lunging into the left knee as it opens out towards the pinky toe. Reaching long through the back leg and pressing the back foot down into the earth. Low belly is strong. Heart soars up as the shoulders soften down and we reach long through the arms. Gaze is over the middle finger of the front hand. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Open the left side body. And exhale, straighten the left leg. Pull the left hip back as far as it will go. Reach the left fingertips and just drop the left fingertips down under the left shoulder on the mat or the block and the right fingertips float up. Pressing the feet and leg bones down into the earth, but lifting the muscles and skin up to the sky. Drawing the tailbone down towards the back heel and let your right shoulder open, collarbone open. Breathing deeply. Inhale, bend the left knee, come back up, warrior two. And exhale, bring the hands to the mat, step the left foot to plank, and lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Drop the knees out wide, bring your big toes together, and set to child's pose. Taking about five deep, slow breaths here. Coming back to your center. Maybe just pausing for a moment to, to feel the energy just pulsing through your body. What will you do with this energy? How can you use this practice to create a positive change or domino effect out into the world? What can you do today to promote kindness to everyone? Lift your head and walk your hands back into your body. Swing your feet around and come onto your bum, stretching the legs out in front of you. Pull the flesh away from the sitting bones. 
and pull the toes back towards the knees. Hands press next to the hips in Dandasana. Press down into your hands, hug the belly in and lift the heart, rolling the shoulders back. Feel the legs reach long from the low core and press down into the earth. Keep the legs active down. Inhale, reach the hands out. And exhale, fold forward Paschimottanasana. Hands can hold the calf, ankle, the toes. If you've got a strap, you can wrap it around the ball of the feet. Wherever you go, keep your chin lifted just slightly. And use the, um, the, the guide of, of taking an inhale and finding length and space. And exhale to fold deeper. And as you exhale to fold deeper, bend your elbows. Reaching the heart to the ankles. So we find some opening in the low back. Just breathe into whatever sensations or emotions you might be feeling right now. Just like honoring them and acknowledging it without any judgment. On an inhale, lift the head and exhale, release. Walk your hands behind you, and you can have your fingertips turned towards the body or out, whatever feels the best for your wrist. Keep the feet together, and as you inhale, lift the hips, point the toes, roll your shoulders back, come into reverse plank. Keep the head in neutral, maybe just drop it back to see what that feels like and then tuck the chin and then find the perfect sweet spot there in the middle. And just breathe here. Keep lifting the hips, reaching through the toes. And then slowly lower the hips down to the mat. Bend the knees and come down to your back. Hug the knees into the chest. Maybe rock from side to side, or you can make circles with the low back. Just whatever feels good for you right now. And then bring the knees back to neutral, and open your arms out wide. Drop your knees over to the left, and gently twist your gaze to the right. Left hand can come on top of the top thigh. Feel the right shoulder just soften down. it doesn't feel great for your neck to look over to the right, just keep your gaze up. The spine and the torso is still getting this beautiful twist. Breathing into your twist. Using the mantra on the inhale, the word let, and exhale, the word go. back up through center and float the knees to the right as you gently twist to your left. Gaze can be up or it can roll to your, your left, whatever feels good for your neck. As you reverse this twist, just imagine all negative stagnant energy just being wrung out of your body like a wet towel completely letting go of what no longer serves you. Create peaceful space within. So bring the knees back up to center. Extend your legs long, arms next to the body, palms are turned face up. Let your toes just drop out to the side. Maybe open your legs a little bit wider than the hips. If you're able to stay here, 
for a few minutes, please do just rest and maybe focus on the space in between each inhale and exhale, widening the gap between the breath and each thought. Time is up right now. Please reach your hands up over the head, point the toes, take a big inhale. And exhale, draw the knees in, and just slowly roll to your right, and press up to seated. Coming back to Sukhasana. Hands rest on the thighs, palms turn face up. Having this quiet moment before we finish our practice so that we're able to reflect, allow the recharging process to soak in, feel gratitude for taking time out for yourself today, hands together at the heart. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Namaste.